Good morning, good morning, and good morning to each and every one of you, and welcome to Barbados on this beautiful Monday morning. We can't really see the sunrise from here this morning, but we can certainly see the glows and reflections that are coming off of it. Absolutely beautiful. If you have not guessed by now where we are, we are at the main gate of the Bridgetown Terminal. Now, I brought you all here um, to show you all what most people come to Barbados and say they have seen Barbados, what they experience. We're going to take their walk. Um, from here to Carlisle Bay. That's the intended direction, depends on the time and stuff. Just so you will see what um, people's impressions are when they come to this island, if they do not take an organized tour over to the east side or anywhere into the center of the island. Um, so that would obviously be thousands of people because many people just come here and actually just go to the beach or the beach bars along the Carlisle Bay area. This is the entrance to the Bridgetown port. Beautiful, I worked in there for almost 23 years. Um, I left or I was uh, the jobs were terminated um, in 2020 in very early 2020 and that's because the cruise industry uh, buckled at that time to the COVID um, strains that we were having here in the Caribbean and also around the world as well so um, that's not a problem because it's put me on a new journey a new focus in life I now follow God and God is my light and I'm going to follow that light because all of the darkness in my life that I had prior to finding him have all gone now. Sometimes it look a little bit donnish. However, I know for sure that he is there and it is me that's not seeing him and not him not sharing it with me. Look at this. Breathtaking. All right, we're not allowed to go up on these um, rock areas here. Uh, there are signs up and stuff and I want to abide by them because I know uh, how it is. You know, they're worried about people getting uh, falling and getting hurt in this section. Um, we did have the camera up there, but I know the guys would be fine with me just going up there, putting the camera and coming back off of it. Um, most of them would know I'm very experienced out here, been here for many, many years. Anyhow, welcome to beautiful, beautiful Barbados. I think this is the perfect setting for us to say our serenity prayer. Just let me get stable here in the rocks. God, grant us a serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. What a stunning sunrise. We're going in that direction for sure. All right, a lot of people don't realize how much actually goes into the cruise industry here as in personnel, staffing, uh, and, man, and manpower. And that is all these ships that come to Barbados are mainly, a lot of them, majority of them are restocked here um, with, freezing, with frozen goods, um, with dry goods, etc., and water as well. So the man force that's required in the Bridgetown Harbor is huge. What goes on top of that is the cruise home port in, which is ships that come and do their turns here in Barbados using charter aircrafts to airlift their passengers into the island or out of the island. There are quite a few of them. This morning I see one of the Morellas on the outside. Um, there was another one on the inside as well. Um, I know it's the Discovery and the Explorer. Um, one has left, I can't remember. I'm not too sure which one it is that has left, but that is uh, Morella, the Tui Cruise Line. Um, they offer um, what they call a land and stay and cruise packages where you can get um, one week in Barbados, one week on a cruise line, and then you fly out, or vice versa, go on a cruise line first and then spend a week in Barbados. That's what a lot of home porting ships do here. Many of them only come in for a day or two, um, mainly like the ones that come in on the Fridays, P&Os and stuff. Uh, they will be in like over Friday night and Saturday night sometimes, depending on how flights go, and then they'll depart. In port right now is the uh, wind surf. Um, that is the biggest of the wind cruise lines. That's the five master. On the outside, we have, uh, I think it's Enchanted Princess coming in. As I said, we have Umbrella sailing off in the distance. And we also have another Umbrella here. Also out of view right now, but will come into view fairly soon, is one of the celebrity ships. I think, I, I'm not sure which one it is, so don't want to call it wrong. 
But I know there's a celebrity coming in as well. Very busy day in the Bridgetown Port today. Look at this beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Just stunning. Now, I used to walk to work almost every morning of life. And this is what I would uh, experience a witness before I went into work. Um, work did not start for me unless it was a heresy busy day until around 7, 7.30. And I would be down here from 6 o'clock because I would love to walk in the morning, power walk from home, 6 kilometers away, and then walk back home, whether it would be dark or light. Beautiful. So you can see I used to be fit. <laughs> a stressy word, used to be fit. <laughs> so... <laughs> Just beautiful morning here. Now this whole area here has changed so much over time. Um, a few years back, or quite a few years back, um, the Bridgetown port was hit um, with some very heavy seas from a hurricane that came through and the whole section there has all been redeveloped. The whole entrance has been redeveloped. This area that we're walking by now, when I first came to work here, all this section here was a moral car park. The taxi men used to drive in and park. And then um, this was developed here, which is a lovely boardwalk that goes right up to the Archer City area itself. And all these beautiful plants and stuff are here. As you can see, immaculately maintained. Chickens everywhere in Barbados. We had to call this a chicken island. No matter which beach you go to, you will find some. Car um, right around here as well as the Pelican Handcraft Center. Um, that's directly in front of us. That's also made some very radical changes over the years. Uh, years ago, there were little small shuttle homes in there. They used to carry all of the um, souvenirs, etc. However, they developed that. Um, it really has sat, I would say, semi-idle for a long time. A lot of stores in there are not open. A lot of shops are not open. Um, but some of them are. And directly behind you, you find the Caribbean Cigar Factory, where you can go and actually see them rolling cigars, etc. if you are interested in that. Now, we used to have, just prior to COVID, a big Friday night jam here. It used to go on. We used to have all the live entertainers, um, free, free for everyone. It was mainly um, to sort of like awaken Bridgetown area, the center. Uh, that used to happen on Friday nights. We used to start around, well, it used to actually start around midday on Friday because what we tried to do is capture all the cruise passengers and stuff. But the actual um, hive of activity started around 6.30 or so. Um, they used to actually close off a street here and have a street fair, something looking like um, a mini crop over festival. You would have a tuck band, um, you would have some steel pan players, etc. etc. You also had a DJ and stuff. So I'm just letting you know that because um, it's for you to get a feel of it. And if you were here before, you know me, I like to trap your memories so that you will actually feel what we're experiencing right now. So if you were a cruise passenger into this island, you came in on a Friday, you would know what I'm talking about. You can get pretty much anything here in the lines of souvenirs, etc. Um, there's also a nice little restaurant that sell, serves some great rotis from what I understand. I haven't eaten any rotis there, but I'm just um, going by what I've heard from quite a few of my local comrades. There is a pavement that runs the whole way up here, so it is wheelchair friendly. I've seen many wheelchairs coming along this section here, motorized and also being pushed as well. Um, where I'm walking right now is a little unsteady with these um, big blocks that they have down. Um, not not something you would walk on too easily if you're in walking sticks and stuff. You'd have to be very weary. Um, but if you had poles, you could do it as well where I am. If not, you can use the much smoother ring road that comes around the outside. But you know me, I like to stay as close to the coastline as possible. We're not going to get any sea today, so I'm going to stay as close as I can. Hopefully catch a little sea spray on his skin. Feel climatized. I had an amazing Sunday yesterday. There were so many... EMC family members that I have never met before that I met you would have seen a lot of pictures There were many many more um, Who I didn't get to see however, we uh, handed out loads and loads of our Errol Walton Barrow gift packs um, Those will now be renamed for the month of February as our love Valentine packs and that is what we'll be giving out um, as February turns but for now we're still gonna give out the Errol Barrow gift packs because we're gonna keep on remembering um, our first Prime Minister here um, with everything that we possibly can, all the memories because he helped build what we are seeing right now. So the Pelican Craft Center, again, I'll just show you a quick brief run through. It's just over the opposite side of this road. They said there are restaurants or smaller pastry shops. There's also a place there that does a lot of vegan stuff as well. If you're interested, they do something um, that my angel and myself have had a few times called vegan sauce. It is actually done with mushrooms. Uh, really, really nice as well. Not quite, not quite the texture of 
salsa or anything like that but it certainly does have the resemblance of it because it's pickled the same way quite delicious actually directly in front of us the biggest fish fish in i would say fish market in town or biggest fish market in the island and that's the bridge Tongue fish market that's where you will find um, a marina has been designed with those odd looking blocks in the distance they actually interlock into each other um, to stop the swells from moving them and on the inside there's a safe harbour and basin where you'll find um, a lot of the ice boats and the bigger vessels will come here Oysins is also heavily used as well but this is without a doubt the heaviest um, used fish market area in Barbados for sure multiple paths going all over depending on how close you want to get to the water benches located everywhere it's really a lovely spot it does get a little bit warm um, in the midday sun and stuff because a lot of this shade will disappear especially at this time of year when the sun is more angled to the south so the sun tends to come directly under here but it is a nice spot to catch your breath to sit for a few minutes and breathe in the beauty of Barbados and he has a musical horn very nice tunes <laughs> Walking down this morning was um, pitch black when I did it. It was actually quite nice. Um, I haven't done it for a long time. I saw the pre-dawn light. I got a couple of photos. Hopefully they came out well because I'd like to share them with you later on today. And that was coming over the bridge in the Bridgetown area. Quite nice, you know what I mean? Bridgetown on a morning, uh, anytime prior to 6 o'clock or around 6 o'clock, totally different place to what you will find after it. You don't find any cars like this at all. Um, this is relatively quiet now. Barbados still has not picked back up um, the way it used to. Any of you that would be familiar with Barbados will know that we've had, you would have major traffic jams in this area around 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, you don't see as heavy now. It's definitely not as heavy. You used to have to be almost half of the length of the Spring Garden, which is the Mighty Griner Highway. You would have had to back up waiting on traffic to move. They don't see that too much now. However, crickets in the Caribbean. So as long as you see cricket in the Caribbean, um, just be wary if we have any matches in Barbados you're gonna have big traffic jams coming into Bridgetown because everyone that's not not having to go to work and even people that have to go to work will take the lunch breaks and stuff or early mornings and go and watch a little bit of cricket and then go into work some people will actually spend the day out or get days off at this time of year or take the vacation just to watch this battle of the England versus the West Indies that is something that is like gladiators that's been going on for eons and that is one of the most um, seat after cricket tournaments I would say at the moment and that would be England versus the West Indies especially in the West Indies I mean this is what you're coming to watch cricket in a beautiful beautiful island now you will notice this is a town area and you will notice how clean it is because the present administration have on a massive clean up Barbados keep Barbados beautiful campaign so kudos to them you know look at these streets they're beautiful this is not what you would expect to find really in a town area not clean like this area that's for sure of course you're going to see some some litter around and stuff that were being dropped since the cleanup crews came through but you can see it's relatively clean and tidy for sure now i understand that some of the shops behind here have fish cutters that will rival cuz in aquatic gap now I don't know um, now how it is because I haven't eaten in these places for over two years or that type of meals for two years but I do know a lot of my friends um, who are real food connoisseurs will tell you that you can get some fish cutters behind here and some liver cutters behind here that are as good as anywhere you can get in the island and other foods as well but there are two of the highlights that you can find now we're walking next to what used to be the abattoir this is where all of our animals were brought for their final day. You'll find small supermarkets down here with necessities, I would say. I wouldn't say they have all of the um, luxury items, but they have a lot of the necess or all of the necessity items for sure. Charters, general store, paints, hardware, and a whole lot more. That is one of their rhymes from their ad. So Anyone that has been here before will know what that is all about. Directly in front of us, this was uh, a multi-story car park. However, um, it is now, or majority of it has now been turned over to the uh, immigration department. This is our new immigration department, the entire lower floor. 
and I think that some of their parking for their staff, etc., would be on the on the floors above. Just to show you, um, this section here goes into where Cheapside Market used to, or is. Uh, a lot of a lot of vendors have relocated from there now down onto the Spring Garden Highway, but you can still find uh, meats and any, anything that you desire, uh, ground provisions, etc., at Cheapside Market. On Saturday mornings, you usually get a lot of Barbadians, a lot of visitors who are au fait with shopping cheap in Barbados, coming down to the Bridgetown Market or on the Spring Garden Highway now, and they will get uh, all of their goods at very reduced prices. Many times you will get them at discount rates. You know, you can barter a little bit with them. Um, not too much and, you know, be kind. But uh, yes, you can do some bartering and get some deals as well. This is the entrance area into the Bridgetown fish market that I had mentioned. Doesn't look like anything here, but if you're in the basin itself looking around, it, it's quite beautiful actually. See, we have 66 on board. This is one of the healthiest of the live stream numbers I've seen. We usually are up in like the 70s, 80s, 90s at this time of the year. Um, but to see 66 streaming online gives me an indication that we may be looking close to 90 to 100 people overall at the end of our stream today. So you can hear it's quite noisy and to be honest with you this is nothing. When the traffic starts to pick up in this area it's pretty chock-a-block at the peak times. So you can uh, get traffic from here right, or from Bridgetown right down through Pelican Center itself. That's the craft center that we passed a couple of minutes ago. Morning sir, how are you going? All right, good to see you man. Just a beautiful sunrise. You can see the, the intenseness of the glows and of the sun, although it's not in our screen directly. We're not looking straight into it. You can see how strong the rays are gonna be. So when we turn the corner shortly and we actually get to the boardwalk that takes us along the greenage area, um, I hope you have your darker makers. If you don't, take two minutes out quickly, go and grab some darker makers and come back because you are going to need them for sure. How are you going, sir? You good? If you like horse racing, if you like to bet on international racing, uh, see federal bookmakers just over here. They have screens in there that will carry all of the live races and stuff for you. You can bet all your, to your heart's content in there if you would like. Lots of parking over here on our right. Uh, that's, that area over there used to be hangar for the Barbados helicopters. Hi, how are you going? Good morning. Okay. That used to be the hangar area for the Barbados helicopters or Beijing helicopters. That no longer functions. But I just want to show you where that used to be. For any of you Q, any family members, you would know we've had some amazing times at that facility over there. For sure. We're looking at the base of Broad Street just over there by that B bus, which is... Um, the big yellow bus is coming away, yellow with the blue stripe on it. Barbados colors are used on those. We have different types of public transportation here. We start at the, uh, well, public as in the um, normal transport, not the taxis and stuff. We start at the ZR, which is smallest of the operations. That's usually up to like 14 passengers. And these are all pre-COVID uh, numbers that I'm quoting. You then get into the B's, which some of them are that same size as well, but they can go right up as well, like to about 24 or so passengers, etc. And then you will get the BM's, which are the big ones, which are run by the Barbados Transport Board. They are massive. They have standing accommodations on them as well. And in normal times, they can move a lot of people. We now have um, introduced the, or the, our administration has introduced um, the new electric buses out of China. Um, so far, I've seen them operating their air conditioning. Uh, I haven't seen any breakdowns anywhere uh, I've, oh, and you know I've seen a lot of very happy people traveling on them so I'm sure that they're offering a service that we needed for a long time here in the island. Okay this is the bottom of Broad Street so I'm between two minds are we going to walk Broad Street or are we going to do the boardwalk so I think what we're going to do this morning is we're going to come up Broad Street we're going to take a shot at that we said our serenity prayer so we may need that a lot because we're going into a very busy area some people may not be 100% comfortable with cameras, but I won't be sticking on them, so we should be fine anyhow. I feel fairly confident of that this morning. My intention was to take you up the boardwalk, but as I want to show you what the visitor would see uh, coming out of the cruise terminal, this is what they would normally do. Um, a lot of them will go on the boardwalk itself because they're just going beachbound, not interested in shopping or seeing any jury-free 
um, shops or facilities, but I'm gonna take you up through our duty free capital, which is Broad Street. Shafat. Shafat is like Tim Hortons in Canada. You'll find that everywhere on McDonald's in the States. Everywhere you'll find a Shafat. I think we have like 17 or so on the island. And that was a, a, a count from before. I'm not sure if that's increased, but they're popping up all over the place. It is definitely um, our more favored fast food restaurant on the island. We also have Kentucky here as well. We don't have McDonald's here anymore. We did have it for a short period of time, but that didn't, it didn't last too long. Morning. Want to shout to everybody? Y'all fellas good? Thanks, man. Beautiful, beautiful morning. I know a friend over here that if she's at work, we're gonna go and shout out. Tessa. Tessa is someone that vents in Bridgetown that we saw. How are you going, sir? You wanna say hi to my friends from all over the world right now, live on Facebook? Okay. Man, this is one of our top ambassadors in the island. This gentleman is gonna provide this gentleman and other people are gonna provide some extremely good services today. Thanks very much. I'll catch you later on, man. Thanks for your time, man. All right, sir. Man, golden, man. Lovely, thank you. Okay. Movie star, I coming over by you right now to say good morning. I just want to give out one of my arrow barrel gift fats here to this gentleman. This is what we do. Um, you can check us out. We do live broadcasts uh, every day except for Wednesday and Sunday. We have right now six, two people streaming. We probably have a hundred on this morning. Uh, we're on Facebook and we do this every day from all around the island. Today is Bridge Chung Day. Okay. I, I just showed them what the cruise passengers would experience today. So I'll catch you later, right? Yeah, man. Respect, you, man. You no, no, no. This is a new life now, new line. All right, take care, man. <laughs> Beautiful. Again, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, so a lot of these guys used to work for many, many years. I know them as well from Bridgetown. Great. Tessa, Daddy. say good morning to the world for me now. Say, say hi, say hi to everybody. Good morning. Yeah, this is Tessa. This is our movie star, and these are some friends of hers over here hanging out with her. Like my friend. Oh, yeah, okay. Belly. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I got it up standing there. You'll be like rub mine as well. I didn't like that running. I work at Woolworth. Nice okay. lady. All right. Would you all have a fantastic day? Thanks for greeting everyone so specially. Take the care, okay? All right, there. Okay. All right, so we're going to, again, on our way. I like to include all Bajans where possible because I want you all to understand and appreciate the true Bajan. These are not people that I've walked to before. Tessie, yes, knows about our operation, but the other guys um, that we've come and encountered, they do not know what we do. They have no clue, but they're welcoming because I've told them they're greeting people from all over the world. And mostly people that you'll find in Bridgetown um, cater to the tourism product, um, and therefore you will find them eager to be happy and stuff because they're familiar with um, all of you guests and what you would require, and also what Barbados so desperately seeks for, and that is for people to come and join us and enjoy the beauty and peace of this island. Anything that you want, that you can possibly want to buy, um, you can find here in Bridgetown. This is our capital and this is our main street known as Broad Street. This vlog may be a little bit long, um, but I'm gonna run it until I see some time come up and stuff. You may not cover right up here a little bit, but we're not gonna worry about that now. We're gonna see what we see and we're gonna enjoy it. Hopefully you will enjoy it with me because I will most definitely enjoy it. Most of the streets in Barbados will be named after some British names in the past. A lot of them have been renamed, but many of them are named after um, British family names. All these shops here will be open around 8 o'clock this morning. Duty free for jewelry, whatever you want, right here in the Royal Shop, etc. If you're looking for a pharmacy and you're in Bridgetown area, Collins Pharmacy, they have everything that you can possibly want. That is one of the biggest and oldest established pharmacies in the island. Over coming up on our left is Cave Shepherd. Cave Shepherd is probably the biggest duty free store in Barbados. Um, it is uh, like a tr traditional department store, but different departments owned by different people. Now, at one time it was owned by one company, just offering different items. Now, a lot of different companies actually contract or contracted into this building itself. Now, I didn't mention Bajan food. If you want, <laughs> I passed by mustard, so I got to apologize. I can't show you everything, but in Bridgetown, you will find some great stores that will cater or restaurants that will cater to Bajan food. I talk real Bajan food, the macaroni and cheese, 
filet fish, salt fish, everything. Anything you could possibly want. Cuckoo, whether it be breadfruit or a cornmeal, they will cater to everything. And delicious. I, I do remember eating that many of them in the past. So you're going to see all of the big international chains are in the island, Colombian Emeralds, Diamonds International, just to name a few of them. We even have our own smart store here. It will carry everything you could possibly want. So again, we are in the heart of Bridgetown, the capital of Barbados. Look at the streets. Look at the difference that we will see down here. Now later on today, it may not look this way because a lot of people don't respect, or some people don't respect uh, cleansiness and not littering. Uh, but the general program of, of not littering now is, is definitely intensified. So people are becoming more aware of it. But you can see how clean and tidy these streets look. You would not believe this is Bridgetown. I know a lot of you are saying, what? That's Bridgetown going shopping today. Once again, another Shafet here at the top of Broad Street. So they're at the bottom of Broad Street, also at the top of Broad Street. Now a noticeable difference um, to this area that we're coming into now. Hero Square, um, you would remember over the past years we had a statue of Lord Nelson located right on that little square there itself. That is going to be relocated. I'm not too sure exactly where it is right now or what process it's in right now with the relocation and stuff. Um, but that was that location. So when you're coming up Broad Street now, it's going to look a little different if you haven't been here for a little while. We're just going to let this traffic flow on and then we're going to take a quick step across the street. I miss the lights just now. I know that when I, when I first thought of doing Bridgetown, again, my, one of my angel's thoughts when I first did it, the very first thing, you know, she's into the walking through St. Lawrence Gap was her idea, whole town, walk through whole town, Spikestown, Bridgetown, all her idea of, of bringing the real true Barbados to everyone. And when, it, when she first told me about these things, she said, nah, nobody's going to want to see St. Lawrence Gap in a daytime with nothing open or see Bridgetown, busy capital of the city. But that's not so at all. This is the real Barbados. This is what Barbados is all about. This is where it all started, Bridgetown, the capital of Barbados. I even see Bajans on here commenting. They've never seen Bridgetown so clean. That is how it is. It shocks me as well. But what a beautiful surprise it is. Lots of the pleasure crafts in here, whether you're sailing, uh, whether you want to get on a catamaran, whether you want to go on a fishing boat, um, you know, whatever you want to do, cabin cruisers, etc. Sandals have their boats based in here as well. Uh, over the opposite side is, uh, is the bridge house where you'll find a big restaurant on the top floor there, as you can see, our second floor up. Um, originally, there was the Waterfront Cafe. I know many of you would have known about the Waterfront Cafe, a place for jazz on a night, a place you could sit and watch all of these pleasure crafts and watch Bridge Town go busily by while you relax and did nothing. Um, that is closed, unfortunately. But I did want to mention that because it would give you a bearing of where we are. Hi, how are you? Good morning. Our treasury building just in front of us. The monument here to commemorate all of those that were lost in wars. The fountain that um, represents the first running water in Bridgetown. That's it over there, as you can see in the distance. Parliament buildings, clock tower, etc. It's lovely to bring you all into Bridgetown at this time. I mean, the roads are relatively free, re relatively calm. You know, there's nothing really going on. It is so clean that it's just mind blowing, to be honest with you. This used to be what we used to call our swing bridge. It is now our lift bridge. This allows the vessels in and out of the inner careenage itself um, to go through here. So I haven't really seen this open too often, too many times, but uh, it does open. Obviously, as you can see, some of the vessels here could not get in or out unless it was open. But it's actually a lift bridge area now. Our independence arch just over in front of us. Now this is a new addition here. Not the boat, because the MV Buccaneer, IMC Buccaneer has been around for a long time. However, they actually do serve lunches and have an open bar on board here in the day itself. So you can come here and sit on that if that is what you desire to do and have a little breather, have a drink and have something to eat as well. I didn't even know that was existing there as a floating restaurant. I, you know, I saw that this morning, so bring it to my attention as well as yours. Now, one of the most beautiful sunrise sceneries you'll find the island is looking up through here. 
right now the sun is a little bit high but when you have the reds and the oranges i have some photos up in my photo albums um, that you may have seen already that show you a morning a red morning here just beautiful people thought it was a sunset but obviously it's the sunrise because you're looking eastward over in the distance the fairchild street bus stand that is our main um, bus stand in barbados there are a lot of little sub areas that the buses will um, gather and pick up get passengers from but that is one of the main ones there's also in spikestone as well and now they have a smaller one in oysins but they do have them around but that is our main main jumping point good morning how are you this morning taking some beauty okay now years ago the jolly roger we're going back you know how far we're going back now the jolly roger used to actually birth here this is where they used to birth and what used to happen at the end of the day uh, all the young guys all the young bajans would gather on this bridge here and the guests on board the Jolly Roger would throw coins into the water which they would dive off of here with all types of uh, creative dives, swan dives etc and collect the money. Um, that hasn't happened for a long time but that will bring you back to the kind of time frame that I know long long time ago. So you can get meals here if you want as you can see it's a house of Cuban cigars um, I can't really tell you too much about that it looks close to me but the sign's still up waterfront cafe used to be the orange um, and redder looking walls here that's where you used to sit before and enjoy your meals etc while you were watching this beautiful scenery here what I can do is I can take you back just a few feet not go too far and I'm going to lift you all up so you're not going to really possibly hear me and I will give you a 360 as we're in the center of the bridge no traffic right now when there was no traffic is allowed on here but no bicycles etc so hopefully I'll be able to offer you um, what I'm trying to show you right now so here we go just beautiful just beautiful i hope i hope it is beautiful to you all because it's certainly beautiful to me i mean this is in the center of bridgetown you know what i mean how, how lovely how, what a nice welcoming area to be able to sit around and have a meal and watch a busy day go by this was a party central at one time down here you used to have all of these a lot of these bonds on the top these were originally bonds etc this is where the fishing fleet used to come in originally with all of the schooners and stuff offloading the site here to lorries etc I'm sure you'll see some photos around in the older um, groups or I shouldn't, shouldn't say older groups it makes sounds like people are old but heritage groups um, you will see a lot of photos on them where these schooners used to come in here and offload their, their, their packages etc that's before the days of the Bridgetown Harbour just beautiful there's so much history that I, I actually remember but talking about the parties warehouse there are tons of them down in here. I mean, I, I know we have some party animals on here. We'll certainly call the names. So I don't have to worry too much. This is the gentleman that we are celebrating with our gift packs right now. This is the Honorable Errol Walton Barrow. He was the first Prime Minister of Barbados. He was the Premier of Barbados before that, from 61 to 66. You can read that for yourself if you'd like. You can always do a little Googling on it, but I just want to stop you here and show you this beautiful, beautiful plaque of his. Morning. thank you so <laughs> you will know that this place will transform in the next two to three hours all these roads in both left and right will be full all the a lot of vehicles that will bring in guests to the catamarans and pleasure craft will be down here uh, Bridgetown will definitely definitely get busy very soon good morning how are you I come and pass you so you can wave to everybody now <laughs> all right take care have a good day okay all right, Independence Square. Um, this used to be a car park originally. I remember when I'm talking, yeah, well, for many, many years. It really hasn't transformed that long ago. But this is where um, you see one of the most sought after car parks um, because this is actually was out of the bridge down traffic. You didn't have to go over the bridge into the heavy traffic to find a park. All this here was a parking area. That has changed, as you can see. 
for those of you that remember Pirate's Cove, uh, this is the original location of Pirate's Cove that has closed down. All of their branches of their entertainment centers there have closed um, and it's changed completely. They had two or three different locations. You used to party in the actual blue bond that you're seeing over there. You used to uh, party on the beach in a place called the Daiquiri Beach Bar. And then the Pirate's Cove also had their facility as well, which was a full-blown beach facility. Umbrellas, chairs, restaurants, bars, etc. We've seen a lot of changes with businesses um, in Barbados over the years. Things have changed a lot. Um, so if you have been a traveler and you haven't been here for a few years, you've seen Bridgetown. This is just a small drop of the changes that we, you would have seen. And I'm sure if you have been here before and you have been in Bridgetown, even up to like three, four years ago, you're probably looking at it now and wondering how it got so clean one and how it's so quiet too, because none of you would probably have ever been in Bridgetown at this time of morning. So the major parking sections now just out of the town itself. We have um, High Rise Car Park um, City Centre in Bridgetown. They have a lot of shops and stuff in their lower floor. Uh, parking, be wary where you park because just like all the police all over the world, we love our revenue. So when you're coming to Barbados and you see no parking, please abide by it. Don't think that you were lucky last time that you can get away this time because you all know already the devil's advocate, that's how it works. All right, we're going to take this little stroll down here. No, I'm not going in to see because I'm going to stop in this on the beach in a couple of minutes time. Um, just want to show you what this beach looks like because we've done all the Bridgetown area. But I want to show you as well, as I said, what the general cruise passenger will see when they come to Barbados. They wouldn't have come through where I've come through. They would go through the boatyard, restaurant, um, you know, quite a few of them up just be on here as well. That's how they would get onto the beach if they were walking. Some may take a shortcut that we've just taken. But before Empire Cove was open, they would definitely have come through here. But I just want to let you see what people think Barbados is. Now, those of you that walk with us daily, those of you that know Barbados will know for sure we have not seen Barbados at all. We have just seen the center. We don't know what Barbados looks like. We don't know what the culture looks like. We don't know what the countryside looks like. We certainly don't know what the East Coast looks like. So a person that comes to Barbados on a cruise ship that does not take a tour or does not come back to spend some time with us on this island, don't please don't think you know Barbados because you really do not. And if you are on here now and you're feeling offended by that, what I can advise you to do is join us every morning. First of all, you won't be offended because you will see what we're saying is absolute truth. This is probably the best beach on the island as in the size and the width, but it's certainly not the best beach in the world. You all know where that is already. I was there yesterday and I spent my day with a lot of people that feel the same way. This is Carlisle Bay. Now, since they've dropped that groin down below there, that was to protect the uh, actual pier head itself, where the Coast Guard used to be. All this sand was built in this section. But over the years, all this sand has built. Now, I will tell you, when I was in my early 20s, the sand used to go where you see that chain link fence, further up, there was no sand beyond that. Actually, it was even closer back to the road than that. And that all this here has just built over the years. You used to have name, various names of beaches here, Burke's Beach, Brown's Beach, etc., etc. And that's because there were little pockets of sand. That, uh, high tide, you wouldn't have had a free um, set of sand to walk from where we are right up to, say, almost up to what was Grand Barbados in years gone by, which is now uh, hmm, trying to remember now, Radisson? Yeah, I think so, correct, yeah. So you would have had before to walk in the water, none of this sand would be in here. They had some groins that were, all, some jetties off of here that were not even a half of the length of the one you're seeing at the boatyard there now. And that used to be in deep water because all of the fishing vessels used to come in there and um, fuel up their, their vessels and stuff or get ice or whatever, mainly just the fuel. So that's something called the SO jetty there. Anyhow, you've seen Barbados as a cruise passenger would see it, or a majority of them. Some of them take tours, um, you know, some of them rent cars, some of them do their own thing. But the majority of people walk from the Bridgetown Harbour uh, up here to Cardal Bay Beach and experience this. This is what a lot of people call Barbados. So hopefully, if any of you are on here now, you will join us going forward. You will send a friend's request. You can participate in the commentary and stuff that's going on and you will join us to see what we are saying is true Barbados. We bring Barbados as it is. 
and your thoughts. I'm going to give you a beautiful side up 360 from here. We're going to reverse it this time. Um, and I will then say something to you before I go. Very brief today. Here we go. Sky is just spectacular today. Absolutely beautiful. You know, folks, have a wonderful day. Um, you know, do the best you can be to keep safe. You know, try and bring the joy that you're feeling, hopefully, um, from watching us this morning to everyone around you. If each of you can at least say good morning to two people today and spread the joy that you are feeling in your heart right now, it means that we will have a lot more people that are going to be walking about today feeling happy and knowing that they're cared for and loved. Have a great day everyone. Um, greetings from Barbados, from the EMC team, the care team, from our Munch Kings, from myself. We wish you all a blessed day and we hope to see you all tomorrow morning. God spare life. Have a great day.